Hello everybody, these are your news headlines for January the 20th of 2023. Vladimir Putin's secret attack plan would be a Ukrainian nightmare. Ukraine is braced for a major new offensive that could begin within weeks. One of President Zelensky's key insiders told the Daily Beast that they expect a looming Russian move to encircle the country with a simultaneous attack on three fronts. A Time Magazine exclusive says an AWOL Navy SEAL was killed fighting in Ukraine. A former American Navy SEAL was killed this week during Russia's assault on eastern Ukraine while fighting alongside Ukrainian forces, a Navy official told Time Magazine. Daniel W. Swift, a Navy Special Warfare Operator First Class who had gone AWOL, died January 18th after suffering injuries with a unit under attack by Russia, the official said. Rishi Sunak fined for not wearing a seatbelt in the back of a car. Prime Minister of the United Kingdom Rishi Sunak has been fined for not wearing his seatbelt in a moving vehicle while filming a social media video. Former President Donald Trump has been fined nearly $1 million for a revenge lawsuit against Hillary Clinton and others. Former U.S. President Donald Trump and his lawyer, Alina Haba, have been fined almost $1 million by a federal judge in Florida for what was ruled a frivolous lawsuit brought against his 2016 presidential rival Hillary Clinton and others. Europe's mission to Jupiter's icy moons are ready for launch. Europe is about to undertake one of its greatest ever space missions to explore the icy moons of Jupiter. The JUICE satellite is going through final testing in Toulouse, France, after which it will be shipped to the launch site in South America. The Department of Justice says it's reserving the right not to cooperate with certain House GOP requests. So the U.S. Justice Department is signaling that it has the right not to cooperate with the Hill Republicans' request to peek into their ongoing investigations. And this is according to a top official who wrote in a letter that was obtained by Politico. In Peru, protesters fight running battles with police officers after thousands march in the capital of Lima. A march billed as, quote, the takeover of Lima escalated into running battles between protesters and riot police amid stone throwing and swirls of tear gas on Thursday evening in Peru's capital. The United States is set to designate Russia's Wagner Mercenary Group as a transnational criminal organization. The United States Treasury Department will designate the Russian mercenary organization known as Wagner Group as a, quote, transnational criminal organization and will impose additional sanctions next week against the group and its support network across the world, the White House said on Friday. President Joe Biden says he has no regrets on how he handled classified documents and discovery. President Joe Biden told reporters Thursday that he's cooperating with investigators and he has, quote, no regrets about how he and his team have handled the discovery and the disclosure of classified documents from his time as vice president during the Obama presidential administration. Denny's is saying safety is their top, top priority after a fallen restaurant sign kills a 72-year-old Kentucky woman. So a 72-year-old woman died on Thursday afternoon after a Denny's restaurant sign fell and crushed her car in Elizabethtown, Kentucky, according to police. And those are your news headlines for the day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All the links for the articles I covered will be in the video's description. And you can visit my website at bcbegley.com. I'll see you guys on the next video.